Hello and welcome to the tutorial about how to zoom and crop in LR time-lapse. So let's jump right in. First thing I want to do is to give you an overview over my workflow. So I navigate into the folder where my time-lapse is saved, all the pictures in RAW. I use Fast Stone as an image viewer because it is really fast and is also free. Then I open up first picture and just hit the arrow right button and go through my whole picture so you can see it's really fast and it gives you kind of a preview of your time lapse. What you also can see is that the last two pictures are off. So what I want to do is go and delete them. So that's it for now. Now I jump into LR time lapse. I've already opened it up and then I want to navigate to the location where this time lapse is. You can see it's only 112 pictures, about 3 seconds of time lapse. Uh, this is t obviously too short for me, but I will do it because with these pictures because uh, it will would take too much time to do it with the big time lapse, like four or five hundred pictures. I use the basic workflow because uh, it has no uh, steps. I didn't change anything in the camera while the time lapse was running, so this should work. Uh, I add the keyframes. I would say let's work with two. Uh, save it and now let's open Lightroom and just take that and drop it in really simple import them all without doing anything no or just minimal previews, uh, no smart previews, don't add anything, just import. So now we have imported all the image to Lightroom. Now we want to just use the keyframes, the four stars. Let's develop this. First of all you want to set a crop of 16 to 9 16 by 9 yes. so that's this for the first picture and the last picture should also be 16 by 9 that's cool but I want to crop in so let's say I want this view in the last picture. Now the horizon isn't perfect, is it? Doesn't matter. Let's work with this. So what you now have to do, you can now also do all the other stuff you want. I correct the exposure, add contrast, whatever, use some presets. But I don't want to do this now, this is for auto tutorial. Let's just mark both of the pictures, right click and save metadata to files. It's a basic process to work with LR time lapse. Jump back to LR time lapse and reload. What you now can see is the orange box of the first picture is the crop of the first picture and if you go to the last picture you can see the crop of the last picture and you can also check the pictures in between they will make a smooth transition to the last picture so you can now save all the changes you made and jump back to Lightroom and then 
open and uh, mark all the pictures, right click, metadata, read metadata from files. It's reading the metadata out, out of the XMP files. These files are also attached now to your original raw, raw files. And now you can see, you can go jump in and you can check if the changes are made. And then if you want to, you can export and render the video. But I go back and show you another technique. So if you want to add another keyframe to do, let's say, a zoom in and zoom out again, or zoom in and then pan to to the right or to the left, you can do this. You what you need to do is you give the picture you want, let's say, somewhere in the middle, uh, five stars and also the last picture, this is important also the last picture needs to be 5 stars so now let's edit this one so what we have here we start uh, let's just use the keyframes so, so we, sh we start from the full crop then I would say we go in to a crop to the left and the last frame should be a crop to the right. This will be not very nice to look at but I want it just to show it how it works. You can do it in every direction or again zoom in and zoom out again, whatever you want. Oh, I made a mistake, I can see this picture. The first needs to be four stars. So let me save the metadata to the file again. Now head back to LR time lapse and again we reload the keyframes or and I don't want to save the old ones no nope. now we have the first keyframe full crop second keyframe the right crop and the last one had a, the right crop and the left crop in the middle so let's hit auto transaction again and now it should zoom in to the left first that's right and then slowly transition to the right that's it so I run in a little bit of a problem if I try to export there is this one different crop aspect ratio were found. I don't know why this comes up because the aspect ratio should be fine. I set them all to 16 by 9. So I'm back again. I found a workaround for this problem. So it's pretty simple but it's like I have now all the pictures that I wanted and some of them were just a little tiny bit bigger and I don't know why I really have no idea because all the keyframes were the right aspect ratio but some pictures in between didn't I don't really don't know why but let's go into the workaround so I hit the first picture select all the pictures the slope and then sync and then you check none and then you hit the aspect ratio of course you have to make sure the first picture is 16 by 9 don't hit the crop because this will obviously give you another crop just aspect ratio synchronize 
and as you can see the movement is still here like the zoom and the pen but it looks like it's now all 16 by 9 so let's hit control A again to mark all the pictures, export same, same, but different and yeah it's already existing, let's overwrite it see you in a minute so Lightroom has finished exporting and now we come automatically into the render video window of LR time-lapse and I do uh, usually 4K uh, no motion blur little bit sharpening the rest just default high uh, quality and let's render this <coughs> and here we go we have the final result see a zoom in to the left and then a pan to the right so it worked, the workaround worked and I'm very happy so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe I will uh, upload a lot of helpful videos in the future See you next time!